Good day everyone, here again uh, with a circuit that I found on the internet. It's a Jewel Thief circuit, no, uh, any, uh, no news here. The only thing that I found is on the website Instructable, uh, there's actually a guy that, well we can't really see the schematic here, but uh, this is the exact schematic. The only thing that I add uh, in my circuit is the 1 ohm resistor in series with the diode and that's only to allow me to me measure the um, peak amperage that goes through my LED and as you can see right now the waveform right here is actually the waveform that goes through the LED and if we zoom in on here we see 60 millivolt maximum peak roughly and so 1 ohm 60 millivolt that means there's about 60 milliamps that goes through the LED and of course I'm using my uh, those LED that I order they can uh, actually withstand 100 milliamps for full brightness and what I actually like about uh, this guy is he actually explains there's actually like three page here he, ex he explained how to choose the value for the resistor, the capacitor, the two capacitor here, and the other resistor for a known value of an inductor. And the, myself here, I made some rough calculation on it. And here it is working. I have my 100 micro entry uh, homemade coil. Actually, I was lucky that it was roughly 100 micro entry. Uh, this little capacitor here is actually in parallel with the complete circuit. It actually help help a little bit for the uh, the efficiency of this. There's my 100 nano farad right here. My 100 ohm, one, 120 ohm resistor here. 12k is just under the LED, and my 68 pico farad was is actually there. And of course, you can see my scope scope probe here connected through the I, I couldn't found a one ohm resistor into my junk of uh, electronics so I went for a 1.2 ohm and this is the actual uh, scope shot right here and it actually looks very similar to what my uh, simulations uh, program went and actually right now I'm on 50 millivolt per division so if we make rough calculation we have about 150 millivolt going through the little resistor and if you do Ohm's law it's technically the diode right now is receiving a peak of 180 milliamp and then it goes down so is it good for the diode well I would need to ex exactly check in the data sheet but uh, this is my amp draw right here. I'm pretty sure it is not accurate because it's actually uh, pulsating DC going through the, me the meter, but it's it's a rough idea. And here is the LED working, and it's actually quite bright. These uh, little LED at full brightness uh, actually are are 140,000 MCD. And 1000 MCD is equ equivalent to one candle light. So this thing's actually the equivalent of a, well, I wouldn't say it's full brightness, but it's good enough for the, uh, for the little calculation that I made on a piece of paper and then simulate it. So uh, it's actually uh, well explained. And I found I actually found this page by uh, browsing Google. I simply type "high power jewel thief," and it's on the instructable. I can I think you can probably. I'm not even sure I'm allowed to uh, show that. But uh, he explained it very well, so I take no credit for the circuit. But uh, I can tell you one thing: it actually works uh, pretty good. And also for those who are actually following my video, uh, they know that I'm or that I've ordered a uh, 50 of a special transistor. These are a regular 2N222A uh, general purpose transistor. They're cheap. 
but they do the job. They can withstand 800 milliamps, but uh, the one that I order actually can withstand 6 amp at roughly 40 volts, and they have a um, Ford Beta of between 600 to 800. Uh, we're not going to go into detail here, but all right, here it is. Here's the schematic again for those who want it. I'm just going to eliminate the scope shot here. Reset. So those value are actually correct. Come on, focus. And uh, if you want to use more different value or stuff like that, just go on the website. And uh, it's actually, uh, he explained it everything. It's, it's kind of hard to understand how it works but once you get it it's actually pretty straightforward all right thanks for watching